do you think you could be pretty good if you could ever put four quarters on offense together? Oh, man, I'll tell you what. Coach talked about it all week long about just being – uh, playing complimentary football and man that's what we saw especially in the third quarter you know um, three stops or two I think two turnovers and a, and a stop and then we responded with I think three touchdowns in a row so um, really really good um, to have that complimentary football working um, that's what you look for man and that's how explosive we can be when that happens I know it was never an issue with the coaching staff but just <coughs> maybe put the DJ K any controversy to rest or should it What's that? Say the, that? Any controversy with KD, you should have put it to rest. Yeah, no. I mean, DJ's our quarterback. He, yeah. he did a great job of, of responding. Missed a couple throws in the beginning. Um, just giving the guys a chance. He missed a couple. Made a couple really nice ones. And then uh, really responded in that second half and came out. Ran the ball well. Just really proud of him how he's running. I mean, he's just moving well. He's feeling more and more confident each week with his legs. Um, and so, uh, and then made some great plays in that second half too. So, um, you know, got to make make some of those throws early on in the game, and give guys a chance. All right, but that's going to happen. That's going to happen sometimes. So, just proud of those guys. Well, I mean, Brandon will show some speed and strength out there. It looked like today. I mean, has he been building to that all season? Who's that? Shipley. Oh, Shipley. Shipley. Yeah, Shipley. Uh, he's an animal, man. That guy. He, he just gives 110% every single time he's out there. He's such a tough, hard-nosed guy. And, um, man, he, he has shown through his experience and maturity how he can make all the different types of runs, whether it's zone or counter or, um, you know, just a bunch of different ways of getting the ball, whether I'm throw, we're throwing it to him on a screen or a, a quick bubble pass or something. I mean, he's, he's just a, a guy that you can depend on, and it's, it's fun to be around him. Is, uh, is Antonio Williams kind of working his way into the – <laughs> he, he had uh, two targets tonight and two big plays. Um, and so he's just continuing to make plays. You know, I know we talked about him last week too, but just really impressed with how there's really nothing that phases him. He doesn't get um, he doesn't get nervous about anything. And he's he's just making plays out there, and that's what you want in the team. I saw Adam get a little gassed out there tonight. Was that good to see? Oh, yeah, just having that experience. You know, not only – not only coming off an injury, but just being a freshman, you know, being a freshman and having that first experience under the lights um, here in Clemson, man, it was it was a great, great timing for him, um, you know, as far as how he got back so fast, but also how we got him some good experience tonight. And, uh, you know, that's going to that's gonna take some time to, to build up that endurance, obviously, that endurance factor playing that position. What's your evaluation of the red zone offense? Sort of like a mixed bag tonight. Yeah, you know, um, really good. I, I want to say right now we're, we're first in the country in red zone offense. So I'm just fired up about our guys finishing. You know, um, obviously we had, I think, two of those were field goals maybe. Yeah, two of um, so, Okay, so two of the first three were field goals. Wish we could have finished. You know, that was a couple plays there. I felt DJ could have given a guy a chance to make a play in the end zone um, and, and didn't get that done. Um, but that's that's what happens sometimes when you play man coverage. You know, it's just you got to be right on. You know, you got to be right on, and, and that's the name of the game. So I'm really proud of our guys. That was, a, I mean, the top two things we really wanted to work on as an offense. All right, there was a lot of things, but, but the top two things is red zone offense and third down. And both of those things have improved um, these first three games. So plenty to clean up, but man, I'm really, really proud of those guys for that. Did you guys make a point to get the ball to Shipley more in the second half, give him some more touches? Yeah, absolutely. You know, let's get the ball in that our, our playmakers' hands. You know, that's the name of the game, and, and just being able to uh, get that ground game running, or the, the running the ball a little bit better um, in that second half. And, and you know, I felt like I went away from the run game just a little bit too fast in the first half. Um, so we came back to that in the second half, and those guys responded up front, man. It was awesome. Awesome did, to see. What did Coach Winnie say at halftime? Because the defense came out with a little yeah. different intensity, and so did the offense. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't down here when he talked to the team just because I have to go upstairs. But just talking to the coaches, man, let's just settle the guys down. All right, let's play sound football and uh, and come back and start playing complimentary football. And, and it's exactly what we did. Coach, you've got to be really proud about the balance attack of the 500 yards of offense. Uh, just incredible one-on-one -on -one catches for scores throughout the game. I mean, what are your yeah. overall thoughts on? Yeah. Well, you know, that's the name of the game right there is is points, number one. And then, hey, if we can be balanced, that's what we want to be, you know. And sometimes that depends on what the defense has given us. 
Um, but man, being balanced is a big part of what we're about. Um, and, and we have the talent to be balanced. And then also making those plays, making those one-on-one -on -one plays. And I felt like there were some times tonight, man, a lot of times tonight that those receivers were making some big plays in that one-on-one -on -one situation. We knew we were gonna get a lot of man. And so we had to make those to be explosive. And that's what we were able to do. You gotta be really happy. Uh, Keith Adams Jr., another legacy, getting some reps at the end in those big runs. We had to feel to see uh, the son of a Clemson great. Yeah. Uh, runs out there. Well, it was awesome. You know, I played with Keith for three of those years. Uh, Keith and I uh, go way back, and what a heck of a player! But more importantly, what a heck of a <clears throat> heck of a man he is. And uh, and then having the opportunity for his son to be on this team, and and uh, I'll tell you what, he's done a really good job this preseason and heading into the season of uh, of, of understanding it and uh, really gaining the respect of his teammates on how he runs, how physical he is. Um, he loves contact, you know, and it's hard to get him down, that first guy. So it was really neat to watch him go out there and, uh, and, and really do what we saw him practice for the last uh, month and a half. Brandon, how has your, I guess, confidence and capability grown from week one to now just calling plays and preparing? Yeah, no, it definitely has. Just like um, any player that needs experience, you know, it's just been a while since I've been up there and, and calling plays consistently. And so... Um, and, and you're still trying to get a feel for the pieces of the puzzle too. You know, these first couple games, um, getting a feel. But, but yeah, each game I felt like I've gained more and more confident in, in calling the game and making adjustments. Um, and then also just having a little bit better tempo each game too. So um, really give a shout out to our coaching staff though, man. They, they do a great job throughout the week of helping build this game plan. And, um, you know, it's, it's a fun group of guys that we, I get to coach with every day and we support each other. And it's, uh, so it's been, uh, it's been good so far, gaining a lot of confidence from it. So your wideouts won some of those one-on-one -on -one battles tonight, but yeah. is it safe to say they need to win even more and be even better one-on-one, well, -on -one, gain separation? Yeah, we're always challenging them, you know? Yes, we, we want to always win that one-on-one. -on -one. And, and, and are you going to get it 100% of the time? No, that's not realistic. But, but we expect that Clemson, Man, when we got one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, that's that's a challenge, you know, that's a challenge. And that's something that um, we've got guys here that can make those catches and make those catches 80, 90% of the time. And so, and it's not just them. It's the quarterback putting it in the right spot. It's the linemen protecting. And uh, I was proud of those linemen protecting tonight, man, just being able to, I mean, really the one sack that we have, we were hot and, and DJ should have gotten rid of the ball, you know. Other than that, you know, that was it. And so, uh, did some really good things up front to help with that. Brandon, Brandon, three pretty comfortable cool. wins. Is there some stuff that y'all got to maybe hold back and kind of save and give them this part? Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's always some things that we're trying to hold too, um, just based on what the defense has given us as well, you know. Um, and we got complimentary plays that we need to uh, make sure we have greased up. And, and so, uh, um, obviously, you know, you know, there, there's been plenty of our offense that we've shown these first three weeks, but there's always complimentary plays. Brandon, you probably have asked this already, but just having a guy like Will Shipley back there in the backfield, what does it do for you guys? Well, it, it, he's a special type of player. I mean, he really is, and <clears throat> he's really a special leader on this team. He's done an awesome job of, uh, you know, really rallying the troops when it's time to rally the troops and really be a voice, whether it's on the sideline or at practice, um, of, of really, really – um, knowing when to communicate to guys, when to get on guys, um, and be that vocal leader that we need. And so he's just a very, very it's very comforting as a, as a coordinator, um, you know, to know he's out there because he's bring, he brings that calmness um, to our offense uh, with his nasty toughness and uh, just, just him being a playmaker. You said you felt like you might have gone away from the run a little too early in the first half. Is that part of just getting feel again, flow as, as a play caller and just yeah. selling in? I think so. I, I think so. I think, I think um, you know, when we get challenged like that as far as playing a lot of man coverage, you know, we got to be able to hit some of the shots too. And so, you know, we weren't hitting them early on. Um, I say that early on. Sometime in the first half we had – um, DJ had a couple missed throws there, and, and you know I felt like I probably could have just gone to the run game to calm him down a little bit more. Um, but uh, it was just good to see him respond. I mean, he responded with his legs, and then he responded, especially in that second half, of uh, being a lot more accurate. Take one more question. What areas or areas that you'd like to definitely step up a little bit? 
You know, <clears throat> um, I think the biggest thing is just, I, again, I told the guys tonight, the biggest thing I'm looking for is a win. And then can we improve? And every single position group has things to improve on. I mean, that's that's never going to end. But but there's plenty to still clean up. I mean, we, like you said, we have we're just three games in, and so those good teams continue to get better and better and better. And so I challenge them all again tonight in the locker room is just, hey, look at yourself in the mirror, man, and let's do a great job of evaluating and getting better on, on things that you need to get better on. And, and if we can do that, we will continue to improve. And so, and that's what we've been able to see for the most part, you know, in this offense so far, these first three games is uh, just improvement, improvement, improvement. And so, um, and then confidence wise, I think our guys are just gaining more and more confidence each week too. So, um, so I'm just really proud of where they're at right now. Thank you very much, Thank coach. You. Thank you.